Hello everyone, today we will demo how F5 can help mitigate threats against generative AI applications. We will first see the case of a Gen AI application and LLM instance deployed in the same cloud environment. Then we will demo how to securely connect Gen AI applications and LLM instances living in different cloud environments. We will show how F5 enables inference at the edge with distributed cloud app stack. And lastly, we will see how F5 distributed cloud can help protecting Gen AI applications APIs by discovering the APIs in use. F5 has a broad security portfolio that enables us to meet the customers where they are and in case of GenAI, it seems Kubernetes is one of the preferred deployment environments. When someone thinks of securing access to Kubernetes, they usually think of Nginx, the most well-known ingress controller. Let's take the example of a very simple GenAI application deployed in AWS CKS with Nginx as an ingress controller and the backing LLM being a public endpoint like OpenAI's ChatGPT. The application accepts a text input like this cybersecurity prediction for 2024 made by our F5 labs and outputs a summary. We can protect this application by enabling our Nginx app protect module on the Nginx ingress controller. Here's an example of basic configuration where we attach the default app security policy to the Kubernetes ingress. Let's see what happens if there's a decision to swap the public LLM endpoint for a private instance. With the public LLM endpoint, the API protection was ensured by the LLM provider. But when we decide to run a private LLM instance, this security requirement falls on us. In order to follow the zero trust principles, we will enable Nginx Subprotect for the ingress controller in front of the LLM workload. In this particular case, the private LLM instance implements the same API as OpenAI ChatGPT. So we will enable API security by uploading the OpenAI Swagger file and enabling the relevant violations. Let's see the result. We can send a valid request to the LLM instance that will be allowed as it matches a known OpenAI API endpoint. Let's say an attacker is trying to see if they can abuse the API by slightly changing the request. In this case, I'm testing if the prompt property can be converted to an array of strings. This request falls outside the enforced OpenAI spec, so Nginx Subprotect will block it. You can notice the support ID returned instead of an answer. Let's examine a more complex scenario, one in which there was a great investment in fine-tuning this private LLM model, and then, perhaps through an acquisition, another Gen AI application is brought on board. This second application would also benefit from connecting to this fine-tuned private LLM model. The challenge here is the second Gen AI application is deployed in a different cloud, in this case GCP. We could build a VPN solution relying on AWS and GCP components, but the downside is the cost and the complexity of managing dissimilar technologies with no single control console. A better solution would be F5's distributed cloud app connect, which relies on deploying customer edge sites in each Kubernetes environment, exposing remote services as local. In this case, the LLM Kubernetes service from EKS will be exposed as a GKE node port service local to the Gen AI application that needs to use it. Here you can see the customer edge sites deployed in EKS and GKE. All we need to do is to simply create a load balancer, note the domain we are using in this case, and advertise it on the GKE customer edge site. The result is a node port service with a name matching the load balancer's domain name that is automatically created in the GKE environment. The Gen AI application deployed in GKE can now connect to the LLM instance in EKS as if it were a local service. There is one extra benefit of using F5 distributed cloud app connect on top of the ease of use. Since we are using a load balancer object to expose remote applications, we can enable the wide array of security features supported by the F5 distributed cloud load balancer and secure our app connection. For this demo, the GKE application we are using can download a web page and then query its contents. Since we can't control the web pages that users are downloading, 
our application might return data that is not compliant with our privacy policy. Let's consider this data loss prevention test website that has a number of dummy personal records including name, date of birth and social security numbers. We will use our application to download the DLP test web page and query the social security number from one of the test records. Let's assume we want to prevent our application from returning data matching the social security number format. We can modify the configuration of our LLM load balancer by configuring the data guard feature which masks by default sensitive information like the social security numbers. Issuing the exact same query, the GenAI application now returns a masked social security number. Let's assume that, due to privacy regulations or security concerns, a GenAI application and its backing LLM can only be deployed on-premises. Using F5 Distributed Cloud App Stack, you can enable a Customer Edge site to host a managed Kubernetes site, helping you to simplify lift and shift your GenAI and LLM workloads from your public cloud Kubernetes environment to your private on-premises one. The configuration is very simple, all there is to do is to create the AppStack site. Note that, just for the purpose of this demo, we will be deploying the site in AWS as opposed to on-prem, but the configuration is similar. Attach the Kubernetes site and specify any pod security policies or custom roles. We can download the kubeconfig files to start connecting to our managed Kubernetes environment. The F5 Distributed Cloud Console also provides a way to examine the various Kubernetes objects like deployment, pods or services and also displays event and audit logs. One way to expose this application to its users is by hosting all the required infrastructure on-premises, which may pose a management challenge. Another way to make this application available is to leverage the F5 Distributed Cloud Regional Edges for, as an example, their very robust DDoS protection capabilities in a DMZ-as-a-service scenario. To showcase some of the API security features provided by F5 Distributed Cloud, let's assume this on-prem length chain application is exposed through an API rather than through a web interface. The application is already preloaded with a number of documents hosted in a local vector database. We can demo this ASCA doc application by sending a curl request to the invoke API endpoint. In the background, I have a Postman runner which sends requests to a number of different API endpoints. F5 Distributed Cloud API Discovery is using its own AI ML engine to discover the API spec from the user traffic itself. This feature is critical in uncovering any potential shadow APIs or the discovery of undocumented APIs, which is the first step in securing them. We can check the API Endpoints tab and scroll to see the API Endpoints discovered. The console also provides various statistics collected on every API Endpoint. We can generate and download an Open API spec file from the API Endpoints we discovered and potentially use that to enforce an API protection policy. As a last note, although this demo focused more on Nginx and distributed cloud technologies, it is worth noting that BigIP has many of the same features, shares the same WAF engine and can be a great option, especially for on-prem scenarios. With that being said, we've reached the end of our demo. Thank you for your attention.